In this video, we're going to talk about some special logarithms. And when we say special logarithms, what we mean is that the base of the logarithm is, is a special kind of number. So the first one we're going to talk about is log base 10. And there's a lot of reasons why uh, log base 10 is, is useful to us, because it's the number system that we use. Right? We use base 10 number system, uh, and, and we use the metric measuring system, which is that's the primary system of measurement in, in the entire world. And we think maybe the reason that 10 is so ubiquitously used is because we have 10 fingers. Well, the standard human, I guess, has 10 fingers. Um, and, and so we can easily count to 10 that way. And, and log base 10 is used all over the place in science. And uh, one, one place it's used is the Richter scale. If you're not familiar with how the Richter scale works, basically all that means is um, if you have like a magnitude 5 earthquake and you have a magnitude 4 earthquake, the magnitude 5 earthquake is not 25% more powerful than the, four, the magnitude 4 earthquake. It's actually 10 times more powerful. Um, and so, so what that, uh, so, so, and, and so that's what, that's what, it, how it's used on a Richter scale. The pH scale is similar. Like we know that the most basic solution, like, uh, you know, just water or like DI water, I guess, is a pH of 7. And then we have like very basic solutions. Uh, the highest possible basic solution is is base uh, is sorry is is a pH of 14, and then the most acidic is a pH of um, zero. So when I said or a pH of one or something. So when I said the uh, most basic solution of water being seven, I meant like the most neutral is seven, is water. Uh, and then sound pressure also decibels. That might be a word you've heard before. And the way that works is like if you have something that's 10 decibels, uh, sorry, 100 decibels, which is pretty loud, if you had something that was like 110 decibels, it wouldn't just be 10% louder than 100, the, 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 pre, the other noise, right? It'd be significantly louder. Um, and so this is used a lot in science. And, and uh, basically, it's, it's so commonly used that we actually have a special name for it. We call it the common base. It's, a, it's a, the common log. So it's very rare, in fact. It's, pretty much you never will see something that says log base 10 of something it'll just say log of something because if there's no base shown in the logarithm statement it's just assumed that it's base 10 uh, it's a common log and what's nice about this is that your calculator has a button for a common log so your calculator uh if you if you look on your calculator here uh any calculator, any scientific calculator will have a button that says log, and the base of that log button is 10. So, for example, if I wanted to know what's the log base 10 of, like, 500, well, it would just be whatever that is. That's that's already log base 10. Okay. So, how could I evaluate these expressions here with, I know that it's, it doesn't tell me a base, that means it's log base 10. So, all we need to do here is we can just type in, uh, we can just write in what that base is if we need to see it, right? Log base 10. So 10 to what power is 1,000? 10 to the third power is 1,000. This is log base 10 of 0 0.01. 10 to what power is 1 one hundredth, right? 10 to the negative third, uh, negative two second power, right, is, is 1 one hundredth, is 1 over 100, okay? So the answer to this one would be negative 2. Now it's asking us, uh, what if we wanted to find the log of like 16 or the log of 241? Well, these are not ones that we'd be able to do without a calculator because 16 is not an obvious power of 10 and 241 is not an obvious power of 10 either. So for that, we're gonna need a calculator. Okay, so log of 16, right? If we type in log of 16, that's gonna give us the answer right away, okay? But something that's interesting here is you can think of 16 as just 10 times 1.6. And so if I found, if I knew, well, like, what's the log of 10, right? 10 to what power gives me 10? Well, 1. So that'd be 1. And then if I if I had, if I wanted to know how to get that remaining 0 0.204, it seems like maybe that's the log base 10 of 1.6. So basically what I'm saying is that the log base 10 of 10, right, log of 10 plus the log of 1.6 is equal to what we just said. Um, and this is a very interesting property of logarithms that actually is the same thing that we have when we have exponent properties because, again, logarithms and exponents are the same thing. Um, and so similarly in this next problem, it says, what's the log of 241? Well, the log of 241 is this, okay, whatever this is, it's 2.38. 
Okay, but that's the same thing as saying it's the log of 100 times 2.41. Right? The log of 100 times 2.41, that whole thing there is in the argument. So I could separate that out if I wanted to and say, okay, what is the log of 100? Well, 10 to the what power gives me 100? 2. So that would be 2. And then I, uh, I sorry, yeah, 2. And then how, 10 to what power gives me 2.41? Turns out that that's 0.382. In fact, you can see that here. So log of 100 plus, oh, sorry, we got to put a parenthesis there, log plus the log of 2.41. That's the same number there. So this is an interesting property of logarithms that we'll get into a little bit later. Okay, now the next uh, the next common base that we use is the number e, and and we've talked about how the number e came about. It was discovered by Leonard Euler when he was looking at compound interest, and we described it as the limit as n approaches infinity of the quantity one plus one divided by n to the nth power, um, and. And so it's it's like the ideal situation for compounding in interest. In fact, we call that like continuously compounding interest. And what's even crazier about it is it seems to be this like universal constant of nature, where we discover that it's it's the base we would use when we were talking about natural growth, uh, and that natural word is pretty important. Um, and so uh, it's this is again something that has so many so many uh, applications that we. We, we have its, it has its own button on the calculator. So when we talk about log of base E, we shorthand that. We say that's the natural log. And because this was all kind of developed in Europe, and I think it was using Latin or French or something, we called that like the logarithm naturale. So instead of natural log, it was ln. Um, and so we can define the ln of x as the, the log base E of x. And we always, always write ln instead of log base E because we're mathematicians, we're lazy. And we like to write fewer numbers when possible. Also, it's nice and efficient for like markers and chalk and stuff like that. Um, and so, as mentioned, your calculator has a button for e, and we'll look at that. Uh, sorry, for log, and we'll end for e. We'll look at that in a minute. So, um, let's review a few things here. So we know that the log base 10 of 10 is 1, right? 10 to what power gives me 10? Well, the first power. Same deal with e. e to what power gives me e? First power. Uh, so, ln of e would just be 1. I can also say this, the log base 10 of 1 uh, is equal to 0. Well, 10 to what power gives me 1? 10, anything to the 0th power gives me 1. So if you see log of any base to the first, uh, log of any base 1, that's just 0. It's immediately 0. So that same, by the same token, the ln of 1 would also be 0. And then one further statement we can make here is that if I wanted to know 10, like log base 10 of 10 squared, right? 10 to what power gives me 10 to the second power? The second power. So it's almost as if when you're looking at these statements, like the ln and the e, they kind of like, they kind of cancel out and all we have left is the exponent. And, and mechanically speaking, like it's, that's basically what's happening. It's not like totally what's happening, uh, but there's definitely something going on there where we're just taking the exponent off. And that, doing that is going to prove to be super useful for us. So when we get into solving some complicated type of logarithmic equations. So let's go back to the calculator and look at these and look at how ln works. Okay, well, if, well actually, we don't even need a calculator for this, right? If we had ln of e to the fourth, we know that this is just four. Because this is saying log base e of e to the fourth, right? So e to what power gives me e to the fourth power? The fourth power. And then this one's saying log base e of 1 is what? Well, e to the 0th power is, is equal to 1. And just to show you how that works on your calculator, uh, the ln, right, the ln button is, is again, it's, it should be right near the log button. Some calculators might have the e button be like the, the primary button, or e to the x, and then ln would be the function of it. Um, but it will have its own button because it's so commonly used. Um, and so ln of, if we wanted to know what ln of e was, we would expect that to be uh, 1, right? Because e to what power gives me e to the first power? Well, it should be 1, right? And so you can you can use log and you can use ln on your calculator. Now, that doesn't mean that the only bases for log that we ever use are 10 and e. There's certainly not. Um, and your calculators are capable of using other logs depending on the calculator. Most, uh, every like nice, every like more recent Casio scientific calculator will have a log base button where you can, you can type in a different logarithm. And these Texas Instrument graphing calculators, uh, 
the TI-80 be, be greater than TI-83, so TI-84 and newer, have a log base button. Also, um, sometimes it can be found in the alpha F2 menu. So here it is, uh, log base. So you can type in a different base and then type in the argument. That is also available here in math. So if you go into the math and you say in the math menu, you can get log base right there. Uh, uh, just double that. And it also can be found usually in the catalog. So second catalog, and then you can just hit the letter that corresponds to what you're looking for. So L is right L. Look at the green letter L. Where is it? Right there. So if we scroll down a little bit after we select L, uh, you'll get log base right there too. Now TI-83s don't have this, so that raises the question, how do we compute a log of a different base than 10 or E if we have like a TI-83? Well, we can do that by using something called the change base formula, which sounds complicated, but it is actually quite easy. Um, and so that'll be something that we talk about in a future video.